I have this under cabinet CD slash radio player that I had at my old house and I installed it there and I'm installing it here again. So I wanted to show you how I did it. It came with a lovely template and so the holes were already in it the second time. But if you didn't have the holes yet, you could poke them through. So I laid the template on it and I attached tape with the sticky side up. Then using both hands and not one hand to hold the camera, I held it up to the cabinet where I wanted it to be facing just to the edge of the face. And then with both hands, I stuck the tape in place with that template right there, just like that. So it was pretty easy. Of course, it's plugged in, make sure the cord can reach. And now I drilled some small holes with a small bit, and then I'm gonna drill the right size holes with the larger bit. There's my four holes. And I'm planning to put a CD tower or table or something here on the floor to hold all of our music CDs and Bible CDs and everything else. I will show it to you once I've got it installed too. Vacuum the sawdust all up. But I can't turn it on or you wouldn't hear me say that. <laughs> the screws go in at the top. So I attached first this left front one, then the back one diagonally. And now I am tightening them. Okay, you'll probably have to use a screwdriver because your drill won't fit. And there is my under cabinet CD player all installed. Um, I'll probably do something about this cord like I have in the past to hide it a little bit, but there you go.